Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I will be talking about cross cultural communication. Cross cultural communication is also known as intercultural communication and it is basically the study of how nonverbal and verbal communication take place among individuals who belong to different background communities and geographies. It is basically the study of how people from different cultures communicate with each other and across different cultures. It involves using words and your body language in order to convey meaning, message and to mediate among different diverse cultures. It is basically the way how people interact across different cultures either face to face or from a certain distance. So it is basically a process in which similarities and differences similarities or differences of uh, a certain different cultural group can be engaged in order to uh, see how they work in a certain given context. We need to see that why cross-cultural communication is important. First of all, we are living in a very diverse world right now where we need to interact with different people who belongs to different cultures. So, so the first thing is that that it fosters trust and facilitate collaboration and the emphasis of cross cultural communication is on uh, giving appropriate response rather than giving appropriate message. When two pe people from different cultures interact with each other, they just do not have different cultures but also they have different turn taking system in their own respective cultures. So, we need to see what are the basic elements of cross-cultural communication. The first one is awareness that you need to be aware about different cultures which you are going to be working with. For example, you are working in a work in, in your environment where people belong to different cultures. So, it's your responsibility to get a little awareness about their culture, how they interact or how, uh, what are the etiquettes they follow in their in their cultural setting. The next step is preparation. When you are being aware, you, you read about their cultural practices, you need to prepare for those to engage with the people you are interacting with. So, after preparation comes language. For example, in even in a similar country, you have people who belong to different cultures. They do speak the same language, but they have a different dialect. So, language is very important. If you are in an environment where you have to interact with people who speak a different dialect from you, you can get to uh, know about their language and it helps you to interact with them. Then comes humor. Humor actually plays a very important role in cross culture communication because sometimes uh, a, a joke which is uh, a, a joke for you, it can be offensive for other people for other cultures and so that's why you need to be very caref careful when you are using humor in cross cultural environment. And the last one is openness. You need to be more open and more flexible with the people around you. So if you are sitting with a person who belongs to a different culture, you need to give him a vibe of more openness so that he can be more relaxed and you can also communicate with him or her in an easy and comfortable environment. There are certain factors that actually affect cross-cultural communication. There are basically communities who belong to high culture co communities and there are communities that belong to low cultural communities. High cultural uh, communities are the communities that rely on um, implicit message and non-verbal cues. And uh, the communities that belong to low context culture, these are communities that uh, rely more on explicit message and uh, proper verbal uh, communication. Usually Asian communities, uh, China, Japan, African communities, they belong to high context culture where they uh, rely more on nonverbal cues and they don't explicitly uh, convey their messages. On the other hand, the communities like United States of America, Canada, Australia, European countries, they are more low context um, uh, communities which rely on explicit messages. Other than that, we have nonverbal differences because your nonverbal 
your body language, your gestures, your eye contact, and uh, they can be interpreted differently in different cultures. So you need to be more careful about using your nonverbal cues. And the last one is power distance. I mean, in various uh, communities, power is taken as a, a factor which can affect communication because hierarchy plays a role where someone who is on the higher rank, you cannot approach or you cannot get to them easily. So power plays different role in different cultures. Some communities do not give so much importance to power and hierarchy. Uh, and some communities and some cultures give more importance to uh, uh, power differences. There are few benefits of uh, cross-culture communication. If you are a cultural competent person, it makes a team more competent. And uh, cross-cultural training helps you to excel in your career. And uh, also cross-cultural cross training helps you to develop relationships with different cultures and different parties. And the last thing is this, that you become more competitive uh, when you have cross-cultural training. There are few barriers of cross-cultural communication, anxiety, stereotyping, uncertainty, and ethnocentrism. These are the barriers which can affect communication if you are not properly trained and if you are not given attention to these uh, parameters, it can affect your communication negatively. You need to observe uh, the etiquettes and the rules of etiquettes of different cultures and you need to give space to other people in order to say so that they can speak and they can follow the rules of communication. When we talk about ethics, we say that we need to give respect to others as we wanted that certain respect for ourselves. So, a res element of respect plays an, an important role when you are communicating with people from different communities. Uh, you give respect and you take respect. So respect is a very important factor uh, when it comes to the cross-culture communication. So when you are communicating in an um, environment where people belong to different communities and different cultures, it is good that you try to understand that culture accurately and as uh, closer to as it can be possible. And try to encourage people to communicate and to express themselves because uh, sometimes people are shy and when there is a language barrier and language differences, people uh, shut themselves and do not express as openly as they should. So you must encourage such people to express themselves. There are few tips that can help you to uh, communicate effectively when you are in a diverse cultural environment. First thing is that, that you need to maintain etiquettes, which is very important. Then the second thing is that you need to avoid slang. Slang language is not helpful when you are communicating with people from different cultures. And try to make it very simple and easy to understand for people. Do not use language which is uh, difficult to understand. Try to make it very uh, comprehensive and very easy to comprehend for the listeners. Um, avoid active listening because uh, you need to be a good listener uh, when you are communicating because you need to give time to others to speak as well. Try to practice turn taking uh, because uh, when somebody speaks, other needs to take pause and listen to that person. Another thing which is important is that you need to speak slowly because when you are speaking very fast or very quickly, it will be difficult for other people to understand when there is a language difference as well. There are few motives that you can practice. For example, uh, you can write things down. For If you are unable to understand something or something is difficult, you can write it down. Uh, try to avoid uh, close questions. These are questions re which require only one word answer, yes or no. So try to avoid it because it ends communication. Uh, when you are using humor, you need to be very careful because sometimes it can be offensive for people and try to be more supportive for other people. Try to make a more relaxed and flexible environment around you.